So I've been using recently a service that I recently discovered, or not recently discovered, but uh, recently started using more frequently, and that is the Barnes & Nobles app. Um, if you don't know for some reason what Barnes & Noble is, they're a bookseller, book chain. Um, I don't know if they're international or if it's just contained within the North American sphere of the world. But uh, either way, um, they're a bookseller. You can go in, buy books, whatever. And they have, um, they have an app as well where you can go and uh, order stuff on from their website. And it'll give you... I'll be probably be splicing in some uh, some B-roll footage of the app and what it looks like and kind of how it works and stuff. Um, so I got some stuff off of it. Um, finally got the Black Torch uh, Volume Four copy that I've been um, I've been after for a few years now. Um, right stuff anime does have it, but for some reason I don't know why they didn't ship it to me when I had first ordered it. I don't know. They sent me every single... They sent me issues 1, 2, 3, and 5, but they didn't send me 4 for some reason. Um, so I don't, I don't know. But I finally got it through Barnes & Noble. And then I ordered um, the Naoko Takeuchi collection version of Sailor Moon. Uh, two and three. I already have the first volume up over on a shelf behind me. So using their app, it's it's very simple to to navigate the the site through the app. It's uh, it's sort of buggy a little bit, kind of glitches a little bit. I don't know if it's just because of the phone I'm using on or or what is what it is, but it still works well enough that you can kind of, you know, work your way around it and sort of, you know, navigate it fine. It's it's well set up. It's well put together. I don't know if Right Stuff Anime has a uh, an app for phones where you can order stuff through, but, um, you know, it, Right Stuff Anime is still a good service. I'm not trying to bash them or or anything um they're a good service they 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 sell i feel as though they're good for like just manga and anime that's all they carry is anything that has to do with with manga and anime they sell uh figures merchandise from different shows and you know, all this, just anything related to manga and anime, they have it, um, which is not bad. It's, it's good for people like myself who enjoy this sort of stuff to go and just, uh, pick up a couple volumes and stuff. Are they a little cheaper? Yes. I think, I think Right Stuff, uh, offers a slightly less price. It's more more for what you would get in like for actual retail value where i feel like uh barnes and noble is a little, little slightly more expensive i think I, i've noticed especially if you have like discount codes and stuff for for uh for right stuff you can get um then the, their right stuff is running sales all the time so you can get a lot of stuff on on sale for uh, a lot less than what it would be from a retailer like Barnes & Noble but uh, Barnes & Noble is good for if you're looking just for any any book any book from any author uh, manga or not uh, they they will most likely have it from fiction to nonfiction um, any any app or any any book rather that you're looking for. I think they also have a section in here where you can order if you're going into a, a Barnes and Noble because a lot of Barnes and Nobles will have um, they'll have a Starbucks in them. So if you're going to an actual um, 
Barnes and Noble's location and you want to get a coffee, you can place an order for the coffee ahead of time. So it's it's um, it's you know not a not a bad app really. You can do a lot with it. Um, see, just right here, you can order a, order a coffee or something. Uh, you can choose the store that you're going to because uh, I don't know if all of them have a Starbucks in them. The two that I've been to do have a coffee shop in them. So, I don't know, it might vary from, from location to location. Um, but that is a thing you can do in the app. You can order a coffee and then go in and do some shopping and then go pick your coffee up when it's ready instead of having a wait in line. So that's, that's cool. That's a nice little feature they have. Um, another good thing with, another thing about Barnes & Noble is the, the, the time it takes from uh, the time you placed the order to the time that the order is delivered to your house or your apartment or wherever. Um, it's a little quicker. Uh, Barnes & Noble is a little quicker. Um, with, uh, with Right Stuff Anime, the default cheapest shipping option is two weeks, which isn't terrible. But uh, often you have to, you know, it's it's one of those things where if you want it quicker, you got to pay more for it. But um, with Barnes and Noble, it everything gets here within, you know, four four or five days. So it's a little faster. You get everything quicker, and the packaging with Barnes and Noble is not as good as I've noticed with. Right Stuff anime. You know, Right Stuff has, um, they treat this stuff like it's gold, essentially. They wrap it in paper, and then they have these, um, like a cardboard box that fits inside the box, and it sort of holds everything, all your stuff that you've ordered, holds everything in so it doesn't slide around the box and stuff, so that's, that's, that's a nice thing with, uh, Barnes and Noble, you don't, it's not that, you know, carefully packed, but, uh, I haven't had any issues with Barnes and Nobles yet, as far as, uh, things arriving broken or torn or the corners of the books being bent, um, or, you know, pages being ripped or anything like that. I haven't had any issues with either service so far, it's just, I, you know, uh, this is not, I'm not bashing on Right Stuff, I'm not bashing on Barnes & Noble, I'm just doing sort of a comparison between the two services, because I've used both of them. And, uh, if you're looking for not just manga, but the whole thing with, uh, Barnes & Noble is the, their selection of, like with Right Stuff you have, uh, like you can get figures and t-shirts, and keychain, all the stupid little stuff that, you know, not, I don't want to call it stupid, but you can get like figures and all that other stuff that's, you know, still related to manga but in anime, but not manga in anime. Um, Barnes & Noble doesn't really have a whole lot of that stuff. They might have a couple figures uh, you, can, you can buy, but it's like nothing like what, uh, what right, right stuff offers in terms of, you know, t-shirt. They don't sell t-shirts. It's not a clothing store. It's a bookstore. Uh, they might sell, again, they might sell some pop vinyl figures uh, for a, a, a show, like Attack on Titan or something. Um, but it's, it's not like, uh, they don't keep, you know, back room stocked full of t-shirts and pop vinyl figures and stuff like that so um go where you want to go to get your your anime manga fix if it's barnes and nobles it's barnes and nobles but uh if you've never heard of right stuff anime before uh and you want to try them out go for it if you like them you like them if you don't you don't uh if you've never used barnes and nobles service before it's a decent enough service uh, so that you can, you know, buy books online and stuff. Um, and I have noticed that the online 
catalog for Barnes & Noble is a lot greater than if you were to go to in-store and look at their manga section because I feel as though um, in stores they're not going to have, you know, because they, they sell more than just manga there. They have like non-fiction, historical, cooking books, religious books, stuff like that. They have any kind of book you can imagine pretty much. So they're not going to have, you know, four copies of, you know, Black Butler issue four kicking around. You know, uh, so their selection is a little more varied, or a little, a little less varied compared to a place like Right Stuff Anime, where that's all they specialize in is manga and anime. So either service will get you what you want. So that's uh, that's about all I have left to say about that.